If you're anything like me, you have way, way too much gear. You know, more than you need. But why shouldn't we? I've always thought more is more, you know? Gear is awesome. To me, a lot of gear is like a work of art. It's, uh, it's beautiful, all the designs, all the colors, all the shapes. I'd rather look at this than paintings on a wall, that's for sure. Even ugly gear. I don't know, there's just something about it. Well, hello there, my name is HW. Thank you so much for watching the Tone Jig the Guitar Show. Today, we are gonna talk about my top three favorite picks for affordable vintage amps that you should add to your collection for no other reason than that they are flipping awesome. And don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't already, and stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you some tips for what to look out for on these three models if you're hunting on Reverb or Marketplace and how to get the very best deal. Our first pick is the Gibson Skylark. Now the one you see here is from the Crestline series and it was released in 1962. There are some earlier and later Gibson Skylarks that look a bit different than this. It's five watts, it's got the very quirky 6AQ5 power tubes, which aren't very common, but you can actually find them pretty cheap on eBay. It's got a 10 inch Gibson ultrasonic speaker and depending on condition, you should be able to find this for between 600 and 800 dollars on Reverb. These are great amps. This is like Gibson's version of a Champ, and it's very touch sensitive. It does that American clean thing really well, and it really gets going uh, all the way into classic rock territory. Our second pick is the Silvertone 57. Now, I've always known this model as the 1472. It looks like a television. There's an earlier model called the 1482 that I think looks even more like an older television. It was originally released in 1961. It's 10 watts with a familiar 6v6 power tube, and it's got a 12-inch Jensen speaker. You should be able to find these for between $600 and $700 on reverb. Now, this amp has a very particular sound. It's a bit of a one-trick pony. It's a really killer trick, but you're not really gonna be able to make this uh, feel like a very clean, neutral pedal platform. It kind of feels like you have a lo-fi fuzz on all the time.
And last but certainly not least, the Ampeg Jet, the J12. Uh, this one was released in 1958, but they, they, they might have made these sooner, and they definitely made them into the 60s. They look a little different. 20 watts, 6v6 power tube, 12 inch Jensen speaker. I've heard people say this is very comparable to a Tweed Deluxe. And fun fact on some of the late 50s models, this is how they spelled Mike. I gotta think there was a guy named Mike at the factory that just thought this was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, what, what would you, oh. playing it, what was your favorite of those amps? I mean, I kind of like the middle one, whatever yeah. that one is. Yeah, there's a silver tone. It felt like a fuzz pedal was on the whole time. Yeah, by far the lowest amount of headroom, and uh, you, you, I could see you cleaning it up, mm -hmm. because you kind of had to do that. Or trying, yeah. Yeah, all these other amps um, can get dirtier, mm -hmm. but most of these things are on six. This um, was so, probably my second favorite. Yeah. Really? Was, and then the Skylark was your least yeah. favorite? Yeah, and maybe it's just sitting in front of them. Like, mm -hmm. I think getting a lot of the gain and, like, mojo from the amp, like, maybe these did better in that setting. Yeah. Kind of like sitting in front. Yeah. But the effects were cool, and that one's kind of splatty and low. I mean, all these amps are sort of, like, lo-fi, small amp. It's not like you're right. playing at AC30 or something. Yeah. So you would rank it silver tone because mm -hmm. you like the effect. Yeah, be, if I was going for that sound, right? It's just, it's just made me smile. Maybe coolest, <laughs> yeah. coolest, most mojo. Uh -huh. I will say silver tone. It looks like a TV. It really does. Yeah. And uh, maybe I would say this one could be the most usable. Yeah. In terms sure. of if, if you were going to try and gig with this amp or have it have it be an alternative uh -huh. to uh, maybe your main amp. Yeah. And for me, the Skylark is sort is just really underrated. Uh huh. Oh, totally. It can be clean. It it doesn't get too loud when it's distorted. I'm not sure I trust it to keep up with the drummer. Yeah. But and I love the profiles of it, like the Skylark. Yeah. The, the last one that we did. Yeah, like we profiled it for the Kemper, killer. and it, yeah. it came out really killer. Now, each of those amps are a very solid choice if you'd like to add an affordable vintage amp to your collection. But let's talk about what to look out for when you're shopping for one of these amps. Quick search on Reverb for Gibson Skylark is gonna bring up a bunch of amps that look like this. We have the earlier version of the Gibson Skylark than mine, uh, which is gonna go for a bit more money. We have these, you should recognize these from the demo. This is what's called the Crestline collection of these amps, or the Crestline series of these amps. And um, these do have tremolo, uh, a lot of them. Some of them don't. Later, after the Crestline, Gibson goes to these white panels. All of these amps are gonna sound kind of similar, but the circuits do move around a bit. Now, if you really wanna find a good deal, I would come in here, I'd look for something with the Gibson logo. These fall off a lot. And I'd look for something in kind of medium condition. Some of these are real like cherry pieces, like this one right here, 974 plus almost $200 shipping. It's coming from Canada, that's why it's so much. Got it, got it. I mean, this thing is beautiful, right? This thing really looks like a million bucks for an amp this 
this age. Um, I, I'm, I'm not totally interested in something like that. Um, that's more of a collector piece. But I would come in here and look at this. This is a little bit beat up. Um, the Gibson logo is broken, but who cares? Um, and uh, look, it was posted three months ago. Here's a tip. I always look for listings that were posted several months ago. And if they uh, accept offers, even better. Because if you post an app for 700 bucks, and on the first or second day, you get offers for $550 and $600. You might be tempted to just go, well, let me see what's out there. Let me see what other offers come in. But if you've had something up here for several months and uh, people start sending you offers that are reasonable, I think that is, uh, that's awesome. I think you're going to take that. $600, $89 price drop plus free shipping. You can have this at your house. This is the non-tremolo version for $600. And, that, and this thing looks like it's in pretty good shape. Another small note, if you start looking in descriptions and you see stuff like three-pronged AC cable installed, that's good. Get stuff that has a cap job. We don't, we're looking for amps we can play. These are affordable vintage amps, not museum pieces that are gonna break the bank and we're gonna leave to our grandkids. Maybe you will, maybe you won't leave to your grandkids, but you can spend the 900 bucks and get something perfect or you can get down in that five, $600 kind of price point. I think you can find some really good deals. Here's 550, this thing's been up forever. This is the later, uh, later 60s version of the Skylark. Uh, you might think they're kind of ugly. I think they're kind of ugly, but the amp's gonna sound pretty much the same. So there are a bunch of really great deals on silver tone amps out there. Now the one I was playing was the 1472 and it looks like there's only one or maybe zero available on Reverb right now, but the 1482 is almost the same amp just from a little earlier year. Check it out. Here is a killer deal, 688 for what looks like a very clean uh, 1482. I also would recommend that people check out some of these other ones. There's the 1431, uh, there, there's the Twin 12 like we've talked about, and um, there's just, uh, look, here's a 1482 right here, kind of a transitional model that uses the later uh, knobs that mine has, the 1472. Boom, look at this. Overall, great condition. Caps and such were replaced by Chicago Music Exchange this year, speaker is original. This is a good deal. This thing was posted about a month ago. Okay, so maybe they've gotten some offers. I would make an offer on this thing for like 550. Let them bid you up to 600 bucks. I would take it between 550 and 600. And, and with shipping at 75, I'd be 675 into this entire amp. You might be able to get a slightly better deal um, if you shop around a little more, but this is gonna be a killer little amp. Uh, and these things are awesome. Again, it, it's a very particular niche type of sound, but it's very cool and a really great addition. Again, I would look for cap jobs because these amps are old. The original capacitors are no longer useful. They have to have been replaced or the amp's not functioning as it should. Now I've bought and sold several of these old Ampeg jets and I would highly recommend that you make offers. They don't move all that often and uh, they're really not that coveted or desirable, but they sound great. Uh, they just they just don't have a, a ton of name recognition behind them. Uh, 750, used good. Uh, this is probably good. I'd make an offer. This has been up for two years. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. It's been serviced twice. That's a great sign, right? Um, is it free shipping? No, this guy's on the little more expensive end. Uh, which makes me think maybe he's not down to uh, to do a deal, but um, it looks like he loves this thing. It's got a new speaker, which is not always a bad thing. My Skylark actually has a new speaker, and I think that um, actually makes it sound even better. Um, but this is something I'd come in here and make an offer. I'd offer this guy 600 bucks. I'd offer this guy 600 bucks, maybe even 550. Maybe 550 is a little insulting, but 600 bucks and for uh, get it to you for 660. That's an that's a that's a really great deal. That's cheaper than a brand new Hot Rod Deluxe. I've been HW. Thank you so much for watching the Tone Junkie Guitar Show. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And remember, more is more. And be kind to people on the internet. It's a life skill. HW.